Right, welcome to day seven of horse fetch training with 11 month old Vexley. And today is our second day outside. So we're gonna start off with review like we always do. Instead of using easiest dummy ever though, now we're gonna use just another, a larger canvas dummy. And we'll start straight away with picking up off the ground. So let's heal you in. About 10 feet. I think that's reasonable given the amount of training she's had. Fetch! Yes! Good girl! Good dog. Good dog. Drop. One thing I'm going to start doing is just kind of what we call memory marks. So I'm going to drop the dummy here where she sees it. Heel. Turn her away. Bring her back, sit. And now I'm gonna send her back for it. This is the very basic foundation of blind retrieve training. Oops, sorry, stepped on your tail. So we gotta line them up, of course. Sit. Good girl. Good job. So it threw her off just a little bit looking backwards but we just made sure we had her really well lined up and then she went and got it. But this is a good or drill to start doing just because we need her to start believing you when you say fetch, even if she didn't see you throw or place something. So here she's seeing us place it, but it's well behind her. So we'll just do that one more time, but we'll do it further. She sees the drop, leave it. Yep. Off. Maybe not the best idea. Ready? Good girl! Good job! Ah, ah, ah. Here. Good girl. Good job. That was about 20 feet that she went back and did that memory mark. All right, now I've decided to introduce another new dummy to her. This is a docking dummy that doesn't have any wings taped on it. So this will help her get used to that pheasant dummy, the weight of it, the imbalance of it having this floppy head. So we'll start with this and then we'll get back to that pheasant dummy she struggled with. All right, ready? So it's a new dummy. So we start with just taking it from my hand. Maxley, fetch. your mouth on it. <laughs> yes, good girl, good girl. Good. Good dog. Drop. Good job. Ready? Fetch. Yes, good girl. Just helping her find the right spot to grab it. She was trying to grab it by the head. It's not going to work very well. Good girl. And we'll just build her up to picking up off the ground. So now we'll do good low. Okay, fetch. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Drop. Dropped it. Are you ready? Okay, fetch. Girl, a little distraction as I dropped my treat pouch. She recovered. Good. All right, now we'll try a short one off the ground. Stay. Okay, fetch. Yes, good girl. Sit.
good. Uh uh uh. Check. Just one little ear reminder. Good. Good girl. All right, heel. Sit. Stay. Fetch. Yes, good girl. Good. Girl, Alright, we've got a lot of distraction going on. There's a lot of snow geese flying over. Hopefully we can work through it. Stay. Very nice. Drop. Good. Now that we've seen that progress with this other dock and dummy, let's try that pheasant dummy. So we'll start with the easy ones. Ready? Fetch. Yes, good girl. Good. Good dog. Drop. Good job. Yep. past her ear and she thought I better grab it, but that was my fault. I sent her a little early as she was still chewing her treat. Good. Good girl. So let's try a little more distance now. Come here. Back. Come here. Sit. Stay. I'm going to give a light toss to get her a little more excited about a dummy she doesn't like. I'm going to do it again just because there was one gunshot she heard far off shooting a snow goose. And I want her to see the drop. We're still doing mark retrieves. Uh, wait. It's good that she's excited. Trying to bust early. Good. Ready? was great. Stay. on a lot of basic obedience before you start force fetch so you're not teaching the dog still to stay but we got her back so now it's not so much of a, a marked retrieve but a memory mark let's see how she does correct her because she was so excited to go early but that's one of the best corrections you can make when you're in force fetch and now we've got her out there retrieving her hardest or most challenging dummy uh, at the same distance we had her retrieving the easy dummies yesterday so now I think we can go back to things like double marked retrieves because I think we finally conquered this dummy in fact I think for these double marks we'll use the two docking dummies let's really push her today 
think we can see some improvement with the toughest dummies. All right, come here. Sit. Good. Stay. two dummies in two different directions. Since we're still learning, we'll do second dummy first. So I'll help her by, let's take a step. Sit. Okay, ready? Back. Yeah, good girl! <whistles> Started to go for the other dummy, so I just gave her a quick come command. Good. Stay. Now we'll line her up for first thing. Would you sit? Let's try it one more time in quick succession here and see if we can get her to do the whole thing clean without any corrections. Sit. Stay. up the dummies but we'll still do second dummy first. Heel. We'll just take one step to help get her in the right direction. Back here. Hey, here. So she got hung up on some scent there where she was sniffing something. Then she picked up the dummy, carried it a few feet, and then sniffed something else and dropped it. So I did have to do a little correction there. Stay. We'll continue with the drill though. the distance here quite a bit as well so we keep increasing the level of difficulty and this way we keep having some corrections too but that's the best way for them to learn good stay I'm gonna do it one more time we'll do it a little closer I just want to end on some success ah! sit stay She is stopping to sniff on the driveway. But all we can do is make sure that she still finishes the retrieve. So even though she's had a few issues on the first dummy with uh, some distraction, 
you can see that the drill is working overall. I mean, the main objective of this drill is to get them taking the correct line to get the dummy that you want them to get. So in the future, someday, as we line her up for any blind retrieve, um, or even a marked retrieve that's maybe a ways out and she needs help with the line, she knows now to head in the direction in which I'm pointing. So that drill has gone successfully, but we're just having some issues with the pickup. So I can quit doing the double marked retrieve and just go back to a long single retrieve now. All right, stay. Still stopping to sniff something on the ground there, but at least she's still finished. Ah! She tried to go by me on the retreat. Come here. If they try to do anything on the delivery to go by you, always make them work harder so that her punishment is that if she tries to blow you off, she has to just carry it further into a different spot. So I just backed up to make her continue coming to me to front. Good girl. Good. But really, she's doing good. I'm gonna switch back to the, well, actually, let's try out that squirrel dummy. We haven't used that today. And that's one that has caused some issues in the past. If she hasn't seen it at all, we'll do easy comeback. Yes, good girl, come on. Good, good, drop. Now let's put some distance on this and see how she does. Stay. Hey! Correct the stay. Stay. Good job. Good girl. Good job. Stay. All right. So we had the one stay correction that was necessary, but the retrieving end of that was great. You know, she took the line really nice. She went out, she picked it up right away. She came back and she had a very nice delivery. So we've conquered the two dummies that she struggled with in the past and uh, she's handling all the distractions well, all the snow geese flying over, the dogs playing in the yard behind us. So I think she's ready to be introduced to real game. So tomorrow I will have um, either a pigeon or a pheasant thawed out, and we will start with progressing from dummies to game. Good girl.